times the programs on these machines just drive me crazy, I swear. I took off the damn headset, and what happens? Everything else goes hell in a handbasket. This is crazy. Anyway, this is without the headset. I'm just pointing over here. How you doing? We were in John C. Roseman, California. Before an old fart, you know the story. Anyway. I'm watching the one particular YouTube version of Star Wars and the canon history that Disney screwed up on. But not the original canon history that Lucas actually had before Disney bought out Lucas and basically he sold out to Disney. And Disney rewrote history. Now I don't like the cartoon series concerning about Star Wars, Clone Wars, or the Rebels. Or even, a res well, the Resistance, yeah, a little bit. Even though it was okay, but... The Rebels was alright because it added history. And the Clone Wars was definitely history between... Uh, Star Wars, The Attack of the Clones. Which was the second uh, movie talking about Darth Vader's advancement. Into what he was going to become. Uh, the Revenge of the Sith movie. It started out with uh, The Phantom Menace, which... You find a young kid, Anakin Skywalker. And in the second movie, Anakin Skywalker is emotionally screwed up. Marries a girl at the end. But in the process, slaughters everybody he can who actually harmed his mother. And she dies. And so basically, he's emotionally screwed up. A lot of pain. A lot of generations should have been working with this guy a long time. But nobody did. His own master, Qui-Gon Jinn's already gone. So, Obi-Wan's the one who has to train this poor kid. And he didn't even sense it. Not even Yoda. And they all know that this kid was going to be coming out to be their nightmare. Except Palpatine. Screwed up weirdo. But there was history. Right after Return of the Jedi. There was supposed to be history right afterwards. Not of the First Order crap. But in different stories concerning about Luke Skywalker meeting Mara Jade, who was an emperor's assassin and then turned uh, rebel, wife, uh, mother, a kid comes out, she dies. Luke and Leia marry. They have three kids. And the kids are growing up in the books, in the comic books. Some of, one of them actually turns into a damn Sith for a little bit, but then changes back with the help of the, with the, help of the family. And of course, they're going to have to be trained by Luke. Luke's already having his hand full with, a, with his own Jedi Academy with different characters already. With different weapons left and right. Now, the problem is, Disney wasn't following this. Disney had their own canon. Even they had to use a Vong, an alien force comes outside from another galaxy invading the galaxy where the Star Wars thing is going on. And they're not force sensitive. They are immune to the force and therefore has to be dealt with in different ways. And in the process, Chewbacca dies while protecting the kids. The lifelong death pays off. Han Solo goes insane, goes off, but yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. I lost track in that story aspect of it because I didn't know how the hell they actually got through it. And I wish I kept up with the books in that one because there was a lot of books in that. It was like about 12 books or, or more like similar to that. And also not to mention the comic books and not to mention the young reader books concerning uh, feeding into this thing. It was an expanded universe. And not to mention down the road, uh, Jaina Solo, one of the kids of, of uh, Han and Leia turned out to be a hell of a pilot and a Jedi Knight. And then there was descendants afterwards talking about that. But before the Yutza Fong came in, they were also having problems with Emperor Thrawn and a few other night, uh, nut jobs out there. They also had the heir of empire. Uh, Jalak? I don't know. Another Jedi gone crazy force individual. 
he had the introduction introduction of the Yosemite, uh, a living creature that actually absorbed the fire fires and force, negated it, and Thrawn had this all over his ship because he did not want the Jedi to infiltrate and kick his ass. He was a very smart technician guy. There was about 20, 25 years right after Return of the Jedi, before Disney got a hold of it, of history being written by different authors, but it enhanced the entire Star Wars universe. And then Disney gets to it, and it screws that whole damn thing up, left and right. Luke doesn't get married. He dies off alone. No, no family. No Mara Jade. Nobody. This Ahsoka thing came out from the Clone Wars, and managed to live, survive through the uh, Rebel Star Wars Rebels uh, series. Not to mention there was a few other uh, Star Wars characters in Clone Wars who managed to avoid the damn ship without killing anybody and managed to redeem themselves with the Rebellion. That wasn't exactly covered in a Disney universe either. But no, you got the First Order and then you get the Palpatine trying to get his way cloned and then creates this huge empire of a huge fleet of Star Destroyers with killer weapons on them. And at the end of The Last Jedi, what you see is the galaxy saying, we've had enough, we're going to get you. That was the end of the movie. Kylo Ren dies. Kylo Ren and somewhere in the movies kills off Han. Breaks Leia's heart. And at the end of the last movie, Leia dies. Well, she had to die because of Carrie Fisher. God rest his soul. Hans, uh, Harrison Ford is still alive. And his character's dead. Uh, Peter Mayhew, God rest his soul. Tall Wookiee, replaced by another actor. But still, Chewbacca still lives. We got a Poe Dameron. Hot Shot Pile. I like Wedge Antilles, which, Antilles, but worse. Becomes the general, the leader. Ray becomes the only Jedi person, and Finn, God knows who else. He's no Jar Jar Banks, that's for sure. But he was a kick ass ground trooper. He's supposed to be maintenance. He's picked up a stormtrooper, and then rebels, and makes his way. The last thing you see is Ray bearing lightsabers, and you see the ghosts of. Luke and Leia fading off in the distance. And Ray takes the last name of Skywalker instead of Palpatine. Where the hell did she come up with this damn Pal oh, Palpatine shit in the first place? Her parents? The father was uh, a clone of the Emperor? Somehow? Shacks up with a woman? Gives birth to Ray, six years old, they split. The woman dies. He, I guess, is the body that was mutating like crazy. So he is the body that is supposed to be the clone of uh, the Emperor. She's force sensitive and she's been 16 years on a damn planet. Oh, I like the other story that they had in there uh, Solo. Different actor trying to portray Han Solo and finally show little aspects of the Millennium Falcon. Finally, you find out between the two mandibles that there was supposed to be an escape pod, and finally it ejects, and that's it. There's nothing else. So they don't have any more ejection pods. It's just a plain mandible Corellian fighter. But I don't get the remake. I, I, I seriously do not get the remake of, of, of Star Wars. I mean, it's nice if Disney actually put the Star Wars land going out there to expand Star Tours, which they revised, oh, God knows how many times at this point. 
always trying to make it fresh. And they make a Star Wars thing where you're part of the First Order stuff now. Not stormtroopers coming after your ass. Ah, you're able to make a lightsaber. You're able to make a, a droid. I'll take a lightsaber any day. I could use another flashlight. But then you get into a couple of ride uh, simulations. I'd seen the report. I, I no, I, I'd seen the videos concerning about the ride simulations. One of them was actually four people or six people in there. Two people do life support things, push them buttons left and right if they can. Two other people are, are trying to be gunners. Now one person is trying to find a play, uh, the ship like this, and the other person's trying to find a place like ship like this. I'm like, no, that doesn't work. What the hell are they trying to do? I mean, if they had four, it's one thing, but they didn't. Well, you get as many people occupied in that damn thing as much as possible. That's stupid. I mean, I had seen the ride, and also how to get out of the out of the first order's grasp. Okay, I can understand that one, but complicated is uh, is crazy. But the Millennial Falcon. They could have done a better job in the damn controls in the first place. They could have at least have one person flying the damn ship. Everybody would be fighting for that damn seat. And the other person would be at the co-pilot at this point over here. Maybe he's going to be the gunner. Or trying to man the, the power systems at this point over here. And you got the other two gunners in the back. It would have been interesting. It would have been interesting if they actually had turrets. Of course, if you're going to be uh, handicapped, it's going to be a problem right there. But now when you're flying the ship, and you're able to keep her steady, because you're flying the ship. One person flying the ship. Not one person trying to control it going up and down, the other one's trying to go like this, because now you got the ship going like this, and you're going to cause seasick on me. Come on! You guys got to get better than the job in that one. Come on. Had to be better than that. I mean, it would have been nice if they actually put in gunner positions so and actually had a turret that you're actually firing at ships or anything else for that matter. Or actually, if you had the gunners in behind you, they're actually were able to fire forward and, and rear. You know, one guy's going to be doing rear and the other guy's going to be doing forward and My thoughts, my take, I'm grossed. I'm grossed out on the damn shit. So, the only thing I can say at this point over here is, I'm grossed out. I'm sorry, I am grossed out from all the damn stuff because it's, it's a nightmare. I'm watching YouTube and I'm seeing how Star Wars has changed. I don't mind the technical books concerning about the about the Star Wars universe. Hell, we need all the books we can get. Talk about all the ships and, and how does Coruscant look with a cross section? I mean, hell, you take a planet, a nice big huge planet, and you sh chop it up in half. And then you get to see the layers. I mean, there's been a map like that online concerning about the star about the Death Star. I know it's because I've seen a book about it. And they talked about little sections in the Death Star compiled against each other. They're like city states or city sections that people have it, life support and, and living in there and stuff. I don't know. But it was something I had to chew on in the first place. Anyway, we'll see what happens in the morning.